for your next dose of Minion Mania. Do it in your in Despicable Me 3, Steve Carell returns as the voice of Gru and his long-lost twin brother, Drew. What? Twin brother? Twin brother? Did he do that? Drew's looking to follow his family's footsteps and become a world-class villain himself. And who better to train him than his own brother? You ready to continue the family tradition, you and me? No. I left that life behind me. Just one heist. Mm. So will Drew's sophisticated gadgetry be enough to draw Gru back to a life of villainy? So, you two are villains now? <laughs> the project's Kim Crossman caught up with the voice stars of the film to find out if they had minions, what chores would they get them to do? I, boy, I hate doing laundry so I, much. I, I like doing laundry. Drew, you do really? I swear to God I like doing laundry. Oh, it's the what, what about it do you like? I it's think because I have a memory of my mom, and she would put the clothes on the floor and sit on the floor with me, and she would fold all the clothes and put them in the different piles like all around her and I just remember it being I don't know I just remember <laughs> that's that nice, that's nice. That so I nice. kind of like, like a sharing folding memory. laundry and like watching TV it's <laughs> fun I kind of like it but dishes no You're not into that I hate doing But see dishes. that my mom would bring the dishes into the living room <laughs> and we'd stack them while we watch TV <laughs> I have a really lovely memory of doing dishes, dishes. in yeah. the living room. Yeah. A lot of the movie kind of is based around white lies and yeah. soup and things like that. What was the last lie or white lie that you told? My friend's um, niece is coming to the premiere next week and she thinks that like minions are real and stuff and I was trying to explain to her like how I'm a voice in the movie because I thought that she'd be excited about it. Well, she didn't believe me and she thought that like I had to look like Margot in order to sound like her, I guess. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. And she said she really wants to meet a minion at the premiere and I told her the minions are like real and they're gonna be, they are gonna be at the premiere, but like, and I'm sure she's gonna think they're real, so. <laughs> before everyone else caught on to Lord. How did you know that she'd be a huge hit? Now, I was listening to like an alt sort of rock station. It was before she kind of exploded. And her, it, the song just stayed in my head. And I was I'm talking to my daughter, like, you've got to listen to this. And like, you, she has her ear to the ground in terms of what's, what's cool, even at that age. She's like, yeah, this is really good. So, I was very proud of the fact. You're a cool dad. You introduced your daughter to Lord. Kind of, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But see, it's so uncool talking about it. So I, <laughs> it, if I had been, if I'd been chill it, yeah. enough to like not even mention it, then I would have been a cool dad. But the fact <laughs> that I made, it's like, like, look at my pants. Aren't they neat? You know, like, well, they're immediately not. <laughs> no. So. They are fantastic pants. They're but very, see, but no, now they're no, not because no, no. I brought attention to it. <laughs>